You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Welcome to the Dressage Today podcast's Training Buzz. These short podcasts bring you the best tips straight from our subscription video site, Dressage Today On Demand. To get full access to all our videos, go to ondemand.dressagetoday.com and enter promo code DTPODCAST to save 15% off your subscription. Now, listen in on this week's buzz and enjoy the ride. This week, Laura Ashley Killian works on improving the connection in the trot because her horse's mouth is busy and she gets a little low in the pole. Laura works on shoulder in and goes through the what, how, and why of the rider's aids and the horse's responses. She demonstrates what happens when the rider's body gets imbalanced in different ways. So an exercise that I do when I'm teaching people, first step, it is called shoulder in for a reason. We want these shoulders to quite literally move in. So we take the shoulders, we place them to the inside. Can we straighten? Good girl. We move the shoulders to the inside. Can we straighten? Good girl. Now, when my amateurs are just learning this, I let them go to the middle of the arena. If that's what it takes, it's okay. I give them permission to make other mistakes as long as they accomplish the goal. Turn the shoulders on the diagonal. Oh no, you're heading to F, no problem. We can fix that with a little bit of weight placement. Drop the inside hip down and look, you've got it. You already had the angle, you never gave it up, and you shifted your weight, and now you're exactly where you want it to be. So we take it one baby step at a time, and we create one correct solution first, and then we build on the components. We don't try to conquer it all in one day. So I take my hands, and I think almost like a Western rider a little here. If I neck rein without crossing the reins actually over, and I bring that shoulder with me, then will the horse match me? And she does. So if I was to make a square turn here, I could start to lay my hands towards the left side of her crest, and she would easily rotate through. I'm putting a gentle amount of pressure from my outside thigh, and she brings that shoulder around with me. No problems, no questions asked. We can take it the other way now. Here I put on my left leg a little bit to say, hey, move that shoulder. And my left rein is just anchored at the base of her withers, saying rotate around me. So now I feel like I have complete shoulder control. That should make the shoulder in feel effortless. So we'll check the same on the sit side here. My left leg is back, it is guarding. It is my passive leg, my inside leg, it's my active leg. Is that the girth is creating bend. My reins are asking the shoulder, plus my outside thigh is asking the shoulder to come off the track. I am maintaining that shoulder off the track by a pulsing half halt of my outside rein. Every time the left front, the outside front leg reaches forward, I will gently close my left fingertips and say, wait, wait, wait. Timing is wait, 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 wait. And that weight is telling that shoulder to stay in alignment, in alignment with that inside hind leg, each stride, so that I don't lose my positioning. At the same time, my inside rein might be playing the neck down a little bit, trilling or moving, massaging, sponging, whatever works for your brain, those inside fingers, so that I keep a light degree of flexion through the inside eye on my horse. Bringing her back to straight by straightening my body. Good girl. We hope you enjoyed this bonus podcast. What would you like to learn about and what tips would you like to hear? Email me, Stephanie, at sruff at equinenetwork.com or reach out to us on social media. Remember, go to ondemand.dressagetoday.com and enter promo code DTPODCAST to save 15% off your subscription to our online catalog. Thanks for listening.